G'day YouTube. Today I'm going to do a video review on the Hantec CC65 uh, AC-DC current clamp. So this is a pretty affordable current clamp as far as I go. This was about $85 uh, from Australia, so it shipped from Sydney, so I got it pretty quickly. I could have bought it from China uh, a little bit less than that, um, but I would have had to wait you know, a week or two for, for shipping. So I decided to pay a little bit extra and, and get it quickly because I needed some um, testing that I'm doing um, in the workshop downstairs. Um, we'll actually run downstairs later to do a quick teardown and also to put it through its paces. We'll um, bench test it and, and see how it performs. Um, I'll show you now uh, where I bought it, um, the eBay seller and um, the information that um, I had to go with. Uh, there isn't a lot of information online so I couldn't really find any any really decent videos or anything that show this thing in action and um, the specs and all of that sort of stuff. So I'm hoping to fill that void and uh, give you all that information. Um, so let's go for it. I'll show you the eBay listing and then we'll run downstairs. So this is the eBay listing for the item that I purchased. This is from a Sydney seller. So I got this one fairly quickly. Um, the delivery was only two or three days here in Australia. Um, now this is eighty. $5.99 Australian, but you can get it cheaper if you purchase from China or Hong Kong. Um, you just have to wait a week or two for shipping. I needed mine fairly quickly, so I decided to pay a few more bucks and um, get it from an Australian seller. I was pretty happy with these guys, so um, if you're looking for somewhere to buy it from, uh, I can recommend these guys. Um, and you can see the listing, they've got a few different pictures here. Um, this is the BNC version, as you can see, and that's the one that I've purchased. And they've got some of the um, you know specs and things down here, but I'll take you to the Hantec website in a second, and we can read the specs off that. It's a little bit easier to read. Um, I just want to also show you if you're on eBay and you type in um, Hantec current clamp, you'll find there is another version as well. So there's this version here, which is a 650 amp, um, which is pretty pretty large. Um, it's got bigger jaws, so you can fit a larger con. Um, conductor through there. Um, it's also BNC and its scale would have to be different to measure that sort of um, amperage otherwise you're going to be putting out um, a pretty high voltage. Um, so they're available as well for pretty much the same price. Um, now the Hantec name, I, it was familiar to me and I couldn't figure out what it was but I, I saw here that these things, the USB oscilloscopes and I remember that's where I've seen the name before, the Hantec name. They do make um, other bits and pieces, other test equipment and um, you know your standard bench top oscilloscopes and things. Um, and you see they make these um, multimeters and things. Well, that's actually a Unity. Um, but they do make other accessories and probes and bits and pieces. Um, so that's where the name is familiar. And you might know them from that as well. I don't know if these are any good. I've never used them before. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd show you that. So if we switch across to Hantech.com, which is the manufacturer website, you can see there's a product page here, um, and they give you some specs. So it's AC-DC current clamp, 20 kilohertz bandwidth. So you go from DC, you'll go up to 20 kilohertz, uh, 20 kilohertz um, frequency on AC or DC pulsing or all those sort of things. Um, and you've got 1 millivolt per 10 milliamps, or you can actually switch that to 1 millivolt per 100 milliamps using the range selection switch, um, which is this switch here, um, and it measures from zero, well actually it measures from 20 milliamp up to 65 amp DC, and you can see they've got a capture from a tech scope here showing you, you know, you can plot your waveforms out of the thing and get your really high detail current drawer and all that sort of stuff, which is what we will test later. Um, and also you can see these specs here, so they've got specs for the DC amp range, AC amp range, and depending on which selection switch or which, if you're in the 10 milliamp range or the 100 milliamp per millivolt range, it'll have uh, different accuracy specifications. So you can see it's it's not hugely accurate, especially, you know, when you're at these sort of higher amperages and the higher ranges and things. But for what I'm looking to do with this, this is perfectly fine. I'm, I, this is well within um, what I need it to be. So um, we'll bench test this later. Uh, we've also um, got a battery specification of 9 volts, and they say you get 100 hours out of it, um, which is pretty good. And yeah, so that's it. You can see here there's um, a few pictures. I'm not sure what this standard accessories thing is. Mine didn't come in a box or anything, so I don't know. 
Um, there's the type A, which is the BNC connector type. This is the one that I've got. And there's also a type B with banana connector, but I haven't seen this on eBay or Deal Extreme or any of the other websites that stock the Hantec current clamp. So I'm not sure, um, you know, where to purchase that from. Um, I believe this is so you can use it on uh, a multimeter or something, but, you know, you can easily get, you know, clamp meters and things for pretty cheap anyways. Um, so I think this one's way more popular, so you can get on your oscilloscope and um, capture waveforms and things. So there you go. So I just wanted to show you what came in the, in the package when I uh, ordered this from eBay. So there was no box. So it was basically bubble wrapped up and it was in a, you know, like a post bag. Um, and it, it had the Hantec um, clamp meter, as you can see here. And I'll just show you some of the details. So you've got the um, range selection switch there on the front. As you can see, it's off at the moment. And you can go the 10 milliamp per millivolt or 100 milliamp per millivolt. There's a battery indicator and a low battery indicator. And then there's this zeroing button there. So the maximum wire diameter is 9 millimeters that this clamp can accept. Um, and you can see this side here is fully insulated, but this side you can see a bit of that um, sort of metallized core uh, material there. And it's pretty nice construction. It doesn't feel plasticky or cheap. It's actually not too bad. It's got a um, screw thread here, and then you can take that out and put a 9 volt battery in there and uh, yeah, a few other bits and pieces that's probably a serial number of some sort or part number um, we'll get to some more detail when we pull the thing apart in a minute and uh, there's the BNC connector so it's the um, sort of swiveling type and it came with um, a couple of silica gel packets just to sort of absorb moisture and it came with this like sort of single sheet instructions there was also a little um, quality control card so it's just got a couple of stamps, you know, it's been passed, certified, all of that sort of thing. So this is a, the um, documentation that came with it. Um, it's not great. It's Chinglish, and it's a little bit difficult to understand. So I'll take you through, um, you know, how to use the thing and everything. Um, but it also gives you the same specs that we've just looked at on the website. So in the safety information, it says it complies with Class 2 Overvoltage Cat 2. Um, so it's a CAT2 rated device um, and basically there's a warning sticker on the device um, that just tells you don't pull the thing apart if you still got a plugged in measurement uh, measuring because obviously if you're clamping on a cable and you're inducting um, current off of that you can get some high voltages and it can be dangerous so um, unplug before you tear it down I suppose.